check is over. And like we were saying before, we've got the Falco and why are you taking Rob to TNC? Why are we starting on TNC? What? I don't care what character. Why are we starting on Town Felix? Felix? Guys, One, guys. Go! Love what, yourself. What are we doing here? Love yourselves. I mean, to be fair, this is Falco. Falco on Town and City isn't, isn't too bad, especially because a character like Rob, you want to like, obviously Rob's going to be floating around all of it. You have that, that platform there is going to be doing a lot for Skelix, right? Obviously, we're seeing this already as that gyro in hand doing 30% to Dill. See, like, again, like I was saying earlier, that reflector playing so much work for this matchup. Oh, again, wow. 94% amazing uh, string right there already from Skelix. Yep. Oh, but Skelix swinging a little bit too early there with the down air means Dill's going to be making it back to stage. And you can already see Skelix not only using the reflector to, uh, to get rid of the projectile problem, but oh. also just using it as a space control tool. And there we go, the up tilt to back air. Skelix is going to be taking the first stock in relatively short order, only 67%, but now you're off stage against uh -oh. Dill, and yeah, you're so dead. Okay, yep. Amazing catch on the side view from Dill. We're seeing Dill already. She's trying to, trying to struggle with this uh, that Falco reflector. It's like you, you, Rob usually has like, okay, I'm gonna sit in my corner, I'm gonna get my gyro started. But like, what's that gonna do when you have a, a big projector being thrown at your face? Already doing. I mean, I mean, once he's able to find that open. Oh, God, that, that was so that was damage. gross. Forty already even up the game with one reflector. This is so hard for Rob. Like, once Rob finds that hit though, like we saw the 65% already. Let's see if Dill can talk any more damage on. Oh, yes. Uh oh. Okay. I, I like the air dodge there to the ledge, but now we're seeing Dill in the advantage right now. But still expecting the corner. Oh, that no. was a risky air dodge. You can't dodge. air dodge there. You can't. You can't dead. air dodge there. You air dodge wrong against Rob, you're going to lose your stock. I don't care what character you're playing. Yep. Only 54 on Dill right now. That. Uh, gyro there, not actually going to be doing too much because of the town and city platform. That time Steel just thrown it away. And I feel like that's really something that you have to... You have to be confident in when you're fighting a Rob mm. is like, what are you going to do with the gyro? I've seen a lot of players uh, just throw the gyro away, which I absolutely agree with. Because if you're not ready to do gyro conversions, then you just kind of end up whiffing and then Rob gets an opening and you might just die. You don't want to like risk the situation of you dropping the gyro and you just gave gyro, Rob gyro for free in the middle of his advantage. Oh, that's not going to kill, but wow, that is stupid close. 88% seems to close the Okay, big up smash out of the shield from Skillet. Shield on the last stock, 88% is going to be so scary against Rob. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wow. wow. Yep, that's exactly what the I was referring tells. to. Yeesh. Very good stuff to deal, though. Closing, uh, taking that uh, JV2 game number one. Yep, absolutely. And, you know, we saw, like I was saying before, Dill with the adaptations, Steelix was able to oh, take the first wait. stock. Or, yeah, Steelix was able to take the first stock. Ew. But, <laughs> gross. Yeah. That was, ew. All of that right there was ew. And the down tilt's ew. Yeah. All of it, ew. But, I mean, the rest of the game just felt so Dill favored. Especially, you know, mm. you're losing stocks that early. That first one was at 94, I think. Yep, that air dodge. You, you can't you can't air dodge like that against Rob. Yeah, relatively early stocks for for Steelix. I think that's kind of what uh, Falco's really trying to go for against Rob. Like, no one wants to scrap with Rob, right? But no one wants to scrap with Falco either. I think Falco, the thing, the advantage that Falco's have here is that kind of, with that reflective, they're able to get up in your face faster and say, like, hey, I'm going to steal your stock before you can steal mine. I'm going to want this advantage. I'm going to hold on to it for dear life. Who, who gets to rob a stock for? Exactly. Who, 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 who's the worst criminal? Who's getting a death penalty? Speaking of crimes, oh! why are we back at TNC Oh, again? my. Speaking of crimes, that's oh. zero to death. From Steelix, wow. absolutely villainous behavior. Oh my gosh! And Steelix just keeps going. Already getting another up tilt right there. And now Dill finally starting to get some things started, but still no percent on Steelix right now. Cool. Let's see. All right, nice carry from uh, Steelix with the Nair. Oh my goodness, this is big damage. Already right, Dill's down a pretty decent amount. And it's so hard. once you start losing against Falco, like the mentality starts crumbling. You see, it's like the gameplay just go. It is a. A oh, mental, no. a mental war when you're getting comboed by Falco. You should be given like uh, a part of the pop bonus, like right. even if, like even if you didn't make top eight, like if you were able, if you didn't, if your mentality didn't crumble well against Falco, like you're a trooper. You, you deserve some of that. Prize. Exactly, that that reparation. If you or a loved one have been comboed by Falco, you may be entitled to financial compensation. <laughs> Okay, that was a little crazy there. It's just, oh. still, it's just, oh my gosh. Yep, okay. 
still that's, able that to get sucks kill. too. It's like you get, you get out of the Falcon. Okay, I'm saying nope. Up smash. I'm in your face. Yeah. Already, I'm on two stocks ahead too. Yeah, Jill taking a moment to compose herself there, but it's right back into the blender. Oh my You're god! Rob's heavy. Rob's fine. That was no, no, Del, please, not like this. Oh. Hand. Looking for a Z drop combo right there, but not finding it. Oh my god. Are Dill you? just wants to. It's like, if you can take the stock, it's somewhat doable, but it's, it's gonna be so tough when every Falco like this. You're alive? Town and City? I mean, Town I guess, what, city. guess why we went back. Oh. Yeah. She's just trying to club the stock. She just wants to go end this game. It's no longer, it's no longer wants to fight this Rob right now. Let's get her out of here. Oh, let's go back to stage selection screen, please. I'm tired. I don't want to look at Town City anymore. Oh. Still trying to go for that classic shark setup right there at the ledge. Oh no. Are you? Yeah, 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 yeah you are. Good night. Yeah, so now Dill finally on the board using that burner right there to get rid of the invincibility frames. But 130 while Dill is on a fresh second stock. Oh yeah, oh and wow. It's, yeah. it's over. A hopeful nair from ledge uh, going to be put on Steel X in the winner for game yeah. two. This was, this was disgusting. Look at this. Side B down air and reading the air dodge. That was disgusting. The side B put Dill at the perfect height to have to tech on that platform. Like just perfect barely high Dill. enough. Uh -huh. That was so. Ugh. The bands are FD and Kellos from Dill. I mean, from Steelix. Okay. Oh, yeah. This was that. This was that almost kill. Let's have another look at that. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. This was, ooh, this was, ooh. this was clean. Why? No! Uh, he needs it. Falco needs it. Jeff, he needs it. It's, it's, it's against Rob, right? We're supposed to be happy, not sad. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right. So, Dill, take a moment to consider the counterpick. We are going to be seeing it. PS2. If I'm Dill, I definitely want to play on a stage a little more like grounded, right? I don't want to... I'm tired of getting hit with these crazy long Falco strings, and I want more space to, like... More, maybe a smaller space to be robbed, you know. I want to like, I'm not really worried about my zoning game, more worried about my, my down tilts, my jabs, my up tilts. I guess PSC will work a little bit better than a uh, town and city. We're gonna have to see how this one goes though. Honestly, we'll get this I, game three. I think with, with that analysis, I think PS2 is the perfect stage for that. Exactly. You know, the uh, platforms, especially, have always been a safe haven for zoners to sit under, and as well, the longer platform. Uh, oh, longer no. platform length is going to be giving Dill a little bit more space to set up that zone. Okay, I like the empty movement right there from Dill, but still no percent on Steel. It's finally the forward air. Okay, Dill finally getting that uh, read off of the Steel from the contest. See, pushing that advantage, you finally you have that lead against Falco. If I have that opening, you need to take full advantage. You cannot second guess this uh, second chance at life you've been given. By Rob. Oh, right, yeah. There's the Dill Classic, but actually just goes to ledge that time instead of coming up with a hitbox. And she gets a downer for her troubles. Oh, yeah, okay. Going for a big back and then we'll find it. She looks chilling on 68%, knowing damn well he, he does not want to get anywhere near this Rob right now. Yep. All right. A little bit too high percent for that oh. firm to connect, but not high enough for that forward air to kill. Dill going to be taking the high road this time and still just stubs his toe on the gyro. Got to be oh, careful with damn that. It. <gasps> oh, yeah, okay. okay. Dill yeah, yeah. a little too overzealous there. Might just, never mind. Oh, the big hot the there. Gyro, that's so huge for her. Oh, okay. That's that's a huge up smash. That's a big hitbox. That Buffalo's that Falcon has been so much work for Steelix in the set. Yeah. See, still you know, ledge trap. Oh, that narrow big jab. Let's see. He closes out. Oh, no. Steelix is back in getting that damage once again. Oh, that was That gyro. gyro ruined it. No, not the clip. I was going to go on Twitter. <laughs> Oh. But I mean, Dill is in a much better uh, position than she was in game two. Uh -huh. you know, as opposed to having zero percent, Steelix now has no stock. I think yeah, Dill is definitely. Uh, we're definitely seeing Dill had adapt in real life. Like, hey, like I can't back up against this character because I'm going to get combo to Oblivion. I need to have more confidence in my gameplay, confidence in my scrapping. Yeah, very interesting there from Dill to actually drift back into Steelix after being juggled. I think Dill was maybe waiting for the gyro to come down and. Uh, oh, you're not dead though. Things. No, still to confirm, not killing. But Dill at a very scary percent now, 132. Now you have to deal with Falco at ledge. Oh, that's not gonna go that well. Dill is such, such a but bad position a, right now. That's a lot oh my of gas god! Gone. Did you see that the gyro just flew? Yeah. 
That was hilarious. How the fact they're doing a very good job. Steelix. Oh, if Dill can take a second, I'll be fine. Oh, no. That was a jumpless Falco, but Dill wasted the arm rotor a little bit too early. She gets another okay, chance yep, now. Yep, there's your chance at life. You got it. We're back to even percentage on the last talk. See, which character is going to cheat first? Who's going to rob this set? We'll see. Dill's trying to get some dropping as that gyro. Trying to uh, stay away from Steelix. Trying to find that, that one opening. Find that, that combo that she needs to take the stock back from Steelix. Uh-oh. That big Nair. Now we'll find the laser. Oh, yeah, Steelix. No, there we go. Here comes the big damage. We haven't seen many, like, gyro Ooh. armor combos. What a What grab. a grab! What? Oh my gosh, again. Back. Dude, it's like that reflector isn't even just good for reflecting the projectile. It's so good at just like a, like a, like a no, like a get off me option. Stay what away. What a drag down. Uh, oh no, yeah. And he gets to confirm. And that's that is it. Be Dill uh, going down in pools and winner semis. I feel like that's absolutely an upset. Steelix winning over Dill. 2-1. Mm -hmm. Amazing stuff from Steelix. Yeah, great stuff. I think Steelix's combo game is, uh, I mean, I'm showing a little bias here, is very reminiscent of like players like Tilde or Andromeda, right? Like their advantage state, th th their awareness of like the air Falco's aerials and kind of stuff you can do to this character is just so exciting to watch. Obviously, we all like, oh, Falco, right? But like, I love sitting here watching, I'm actually playing it, and seeing like the type of like the awareness from these players. Seeing like the, the down airs, the up airs, the crazy stuff. Like that reflect, who does that? <laughs> the, like the little, the little arch. Yeah. Obviously, and, very good stuff for Celix. I mean, especially like some of the just like just barely able to continue the advantage state. Like we saw a lot of uh, drag down grabs from Celix, like that one right there. Mm -hmm. But Ooh. there was uh, another one on like the right side of the stage. Hey, do the Macharino, by the way. I forgot to turn that ad off. Do the Macharino. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry, I forgot to turn that off myself. No worries. 